Hey everybody and welcome to Somerville, Massachusetts. Today I'm going to take a walk around Davis Square. Today is May 28th, 2023. It's approximately 80 degrees out. It's a beautiful warm day and it's about uh, 6.45 p.m. So you may notice statues around the square. They're entitled The Ten Figures and created by James Tyler. They're life-size concrete sculptures based on people who lived near the square in the 1980s. Bronze masks were added in 1996 to repair, damage, and prevent vandalism. We're coming up on the Davis family statues. Abby Davis and Joan Schwartz were a husband and wife team who ran the Loon and Heron Children's Theater. The boy sitting on Joan's lap is her son, Seth. Davis Square was named after Person Davis, a grain dealer and politician who moved to the area in 1850 and built his estate near the intersection of Elm Grove and Morrison Streets. Okay, so we are approaching John, Mary, and the Mime, which are these three sculptures right here. The sculpture added a fictional mime who performs for a teenager who was killed in Vietnam in 1969, accompanied by his mother. There's a teenager and his mom, I guess. So the Red Line station here was opened December 8th, 1984 for the Red Line Extension Project. It's been seen as a catalyst for a change in Davis Square. It led to commercial developments in the square and made Somerville more accessible for, to Cambridge and Boston. Around here, I believe there's another statue. This statue is called the Flower Guy. Based on a friend of James Tyler that took odd jobs such as selling flowers. The shirt originally said I am not a Mooney based on the cult but was later reduced to just I am not. This friend really did have that shirt. And here we go across the street. Actually, let me just, uh, so this is the original site here of Johnny D's Music Club. I believe we're still going to see a plaque commemorating it. Unfortunately, it's closed down now, but the Music Club uh, of Johnny D's was named after John DeLellis. John DeLellis and his wife Tina bought the bar in 1969. Here you can see the plaque. It was originally just a bar but evolved into a music club. John was a Somerville police officer. It stayed in the family with uh, Carla DeLellis until it was closed in 2016. It was a wonderful place to enjoy a wide variety of music. Personally, I spent many nights in there. The atmosphere and the uh, Music were just wonderful. Bands like the Smithereens, Ben Harper, Dixie Chicks, and Guster came through. And now we have the Somerville Theater across the street. Very iconic Somerville Theater, which has been around uh, since it opened on May 11th, 1914. It's part of the Hobbs Building, which I believe is this whole uh, like brick building here with Mr. Crepe on the other side. The theater was designed for stage shows, vaudeville, opera, and movies. As you can see, it's a mainly a movie theater right now, but I believe they still do shows like music acts and theater. All right, so we're going to approach the Bill and Alice statue over here. Let me come around here. The man is Bill Masho. And the woman is his wife, Alice. 
they ran the Davis Square Fish Market, which is located, which was, sorry, not is, was located at 27 Holland Street. Bill and Alice met in Paris at the end of World War II. So if you're wondering what these statues are. All right, so we're gonna continue along down, I'm gonna cross the street and head down Elm Street. I'll be honest, we have mics here, which has been around forever. But I can, I looked online, I couldn't really find too much history on it, including like when it opened. So it's Mike's Food and Spirits. I mean, it's been around since I was a little kid, so at least the 80s. Uh, it has a great atmosphere. It gets very busy on the weekends, especially in the summer months. Kind of a calm day today. It's Memorial Day weekend right now. Yeah, it's a fun place to hang out. There's the Elm Street Tap Room across the street. It used to be, it used to be Joshua Tree, which is a really fun place to hang out. I think it's pretty similar now. If you go past the foundry. All right. So we're going to come up on the burn, which was opened in January of 1996. It's kind of like the new wave of, uh, part of the new wave of the restaurants and bars in Davis Square. Um, it's of course it's it's old now, but it's named for a barren expanse of limestone rock in Ireland's County Clare. It's a very chill place for a drink during the week, but on the weekends you get a really strong party atmosphere, and they have uh, at least they they used to. I'm pretty sure they still do. They have cover bands in the back room, and it gets really crowded on Friday and Saturday, but other days it's pretty chill. And uh, often they have people playing Irish music in the front of the bar. Oh, here's McKinnon's Meat Market. I forgot to do a thing for that. I'll put something on the screen. Oh, and here's Sligo's Pub, which is unfortunately closing in June. The Sligo Pub has been in business for over 75 years. It's named after County Sligo in Ireland. It was previously known as Mahoney's and Pat McConnelly's. Probably a very long time ago. I always remember it as Sligo's. Uh, the motto is, where strangers are friends you haven't met yet. Man. <laughs> Gotta admit it. It'll be sad when Sligo's is closed. I've known it here forever. Dragon Pizza. I think that used to be Christo's Seven Star, which was around forever. I think we're coming upon the painted burrow here. Another wonderful restaurant in Davis Square. There's a lot of great open air places to eat here on a beautiful day like today. Uh, we're coming up on the Rosebud Diner. The diner was built in 1941 by the Worcester Lunch Car Company for the 
Nichols and Pereira Valeris families. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1999. Let's see this, the good old uh, neon sign there. The exterior is still the original, but the interior has changed over the years. All right, I think I'll just round the block here. See, the old Winter Hill Bank here, it's been here forever. Here's Tanaka across the street, man. They have the best uh, tortoise anywhere. A really great vibe in the square today. It is a, it really feels like summer, right on cue with Memorial Day weekend. I love you see these crazy bikes go by here. That's a, a thing you see often through Somerville. Kamikaze. That's been there for a really long time too. At least, I don't know, at least a decade, I'd say. I'm not sure when they opened. Probably a lot, a lot older than that. It's nice to see a good old-fashioned comic book store. I also highly recommend Los Amigos Taqueria here. They're excellent. I think they're a chain, but they're really good. This this branch always uh, the food's always great. All right, so I basically looped around the block. So uh, I guess I'll end the video here. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you aren't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And as always, check out my photography at wayneoxfordphotography.com. And thanks for coming along.